Welcome to episode one of Liquid Velvet Literature with your host, the Midnight Mauler. Right, welcome to the Maiden Broadcast. I'm your host, the Midnight Mauler, not to be confused with one who mauls, or maims, or bloodies. No, Gustav Mahler. Hand down, my favorite classical composer. Also, I like speed metal, but we can't intro speed metal because this is literature and all else what not. Anyway... We're going to kick off this episode, the first episode, with a poem by a handsome gentleman. This is Charles Bukowski, As the Poems Go. As the poems go into the thousands, you realize that you've created very little. It comes down to the rain, the sunlight, the traffic, the nights and the days of the years, the faces. Leaving this will be easier than living it. Typing one more line now as a man plays a piano through the radio. The best writers have said very little, and the worst, far too much. From On the Bus, 1992. What a great fucking poem that is. You know, one of the first poets I got my hands on as a kid was, well, of course, Robert Frost. But... Teen years, Bukowski pretty much raised me from 17 onward. So it was an honor to read him to kick off this radio show. So another half of that name is that we upload every night at midnight. But since you're probably sleeping or because we're not completely sadistic, we will post these in the morning. Or at least this first one, but rest assured, it is midnight. And being how it's midnight, and being how we are on prose radio, I wanted to take the opportunity to read a poem from a writer on prose who is new to myself, and maybe new to you, but maybe not new to you anymore, after you hear the brevity and beauty of this new blood. And anybody we feature on the channel will be linked below in the description just so you don't worry your pretty little heads. This is a poem by Matthew Da Silva, Summer's Day. It's been a while since cold broke the ice of the morning. We swelter love in daylight hours down here where the sun rattles the cages of every heart as soon as it rises. Verissimo da Silva. Beautiful, beautiful short poem. I love this. And in the vein of brevity and consecution, to call back to brevity, this is Area Man with Mineral Rights. Area Man is probably in my top five favorite poets on prose. When you go to theprose.com, you'll see him peppered all over that site with gems like this one. Wigged out behind the wheel on some godforsaken Los Angeles freeway, I keep telling you I'm sick as the thud of another Walmart slumps into the earth. You're sucking the bottom out of a bucket of Pepsi, and I am unable to stop thinking about mineral rights and crushed butterflies. What's wrong? All I've ever wanted is the exact opposite of what this place keeps shoveling down my throat disgusted, not saying what I'm feeling. Why am I here? As my heart, like the sun, keeps on sinking. <laughs> 